Hello everybody, this is Johnny P again, NA server, well actually the NA central server because we have an east server now. Ron Airfield in a standard battle, 654s, and wonder of wonders, I'm the top tier Artie. Now, this battle is going to be a little strange in more than one way. Um, sometimes I felt like I was the only adult in a classroom full of nursery school kids. I swear there was times that if it had been possible to reach out through the internet and whack somebody, I would have done it gladly. But let's get going here and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Move out. So, I'm on this side of the map, so instead of going over to C1 where I like to go, I'm instead going over here in about K2, or K1, K2 area. This used to be a lot better place for Artie to sit. They made some changes to it lately. You don't get quite as many good shots in the main tank, uh, the main heavy tank area there, but oh. it still works. So we're in our Hummel. Uh, I've got a very, very good crew in this. This is one of the Arties I've owned the longest. I think I've had this for four years now. Absolutely love it. It's a little dart thrower most of the time. Now, that's the area where I like to get most of my shots, and you can do some horrible, horrible damage in there. Now, notice where everybody's going. Almost everybody, I got two mediums sitting in the back where the TDs usually sit. Okay, this uh, Chafee, somebody misses him. I'm thinking about taking a shot, but nope. Okay, that T14 right there is statistically the best player on their team, and he's going to have, actually, a pretty darn good game. That T28, on the other hand, he's not doing so well. Now, take a shot. Too close. Splash him. Somebody else hits him right away, so I get some splash damage. And then he gets killed. Now, once again, notice where most of the tanks are. And T14, I'm loading, I'm loading. T14's a nice tank. Don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with the tank and the driver's ah! good. This guy's gonna have a good game. Enemy armor is damaged. And I pop him pretty good. And he's just sitting there. I figure he must be stunned or something. Starts to back up. Okay, this T150 is a fantastic freaking tank. I love my preferred over the KV2. This guy's pretty much going to throw his away. M3 Lee and M4. Ah! Okay. Stuart just killed somebody. T50 just driving up there like he doesn't have a care in the world. He just sitting out. Now, he does get a kill. I'll grant him that much. But with the, uh... With the, with the, uh... Biggest gun on the T150, that's not really all that hard to do. We're down 2-3. I just take a speculative shot there, just in case. Okay, now, a Luke's dangerous little light tank. The murder kitten, a lot of people call it. Jingles calls it the cutest tank in the game. There's that T-150 again. M4 gets killed. T-14's got himself turned sideways. I think he was trying ah! to go around the T-150 block him. I bet there was some salty chat going on there. Okay, oops, everybody disappears. I take a shot, what the heck? And... Okay, P, a P4640, another very good tank. And there's that 150, and he is just gonna sit here. Now, he does get another kill, but he's gonna sit here in front of God and everyone like nobody can ah! hurt him. Okay, the other artillery gets him. Enemy armor is damaged. I hit him and double down on the damage he's almost dead now you can see his tracks off right at the moment but in a few a few moments the tracks gonna go back up and he still just sits there right there track gets repaired and he's just sitting there I'm not sure what he's doing he could have backed up I realize he's badly damaged but he could have got away ah! so I fire he starts to back up destroyed. and I kill him okay there's that t14 
he's still hanging in there and he's doing the right thing. He keeps moving backwards and forwards and backwards and forwards. Okay, now there's that Luke's. He's gonna uh, be a bit of a pest. Their artillery kills are light. Not a good situation oh! at all. Okay, now where'd that P40, the P2640 go? That's one tank that does have me worried. It's a good tank, and in the right hands, it can be a game changer. Now, looking, looking, and look at, you know, I only got one heavy left. Okay, the 14 just got killed by our P2640. See what I mean? Dangerous. Now, SU-85, that's not a place where, unless you are very heavily high tier tank destroyer, you ought to be. SU-85 is made out of tissue paper. Okay, he starts backing up, starts backing up. I fire. Enemy destroyed. Somebody else hit him. I hit him, killed him. Yep, two shots, he's gone. M3 lead down. Okay, we're ahead 10 7. This game is well in hand. Our PZ3 is sitting way in the back there at the top of the map. You can see him. Ah, there's the P40. Our P, uh, P26. And I'm waiting to load, waiting to load, waiting to load. And somebody shoots here, and I miss a chance to kill that P26. Okay, PZ. The PZ-3 is still sitting in the back. Everybody else is just puts around with that AMX-40. I know the duck is slow, but that AMX-40 is just sitting there doing nothing. Okay, Luke's is going to try to run. He gets hit. He gets tracked. He repairs. Try Enemy to run. Destroyed. He's flashed. He's gone. Okay, 12-8. Churchill 1. The Churchill 7 is one of my favorite heavy tanks. I actually got my first two top guns ever in this game in that tank. And then 7, the one I couldn't wait to get to. It was a piece of junk. So, let's see here. I got Churchill 1 for oh! Churchill 1. Enemy okay. armor is damaged. Enemy and destroyed. Catch him on fire. Just a single tick of fire. But you saw that 20 extra points. Poof. He's gone. Okay, so there's an M44 and an AMX 105AM. Now, the AMX 105AM does have a couple of kills. Now, the PZ3 finally decides to move up at this late stage ah! in the game. He has not done a thing. Okay? And the Churchill one takes on the M44. Now, everybody's saying... Let's pause this here for just a moment halfway done with the cap and I'm like wait a second okay let's bring up the big map here and let me show you what's going on okay the PZ3 is up here and he's gonna come and lurk up here in this little alcove for a while uh, why I have no idea he's not damaged at all Matilda's here uh, he's got the excuse that he's slow dangerous but slow T-28 sitting here, getting ready to cap. Why? I have no idea. A Churchill and an AMX-40, a.k.a. the Duck, which I really like the AMX-40. It can be, uh, it's, it's a troll little tank. And we've got 748 left to go, plenty of time. We've got one low-tier artillery with a limited view range. And... They're going to try, our team is going to try to cap instead of go out and find this one arty. So let's get this going again. Okay. PZ3 is creeping up slowly. Okay. People are saying the AMX is over here and he could very well be. I haven't seen a shot from him all game, but that doesn't mean much. Okay. And that is a good place to hide. I've used it before at low tiers. At high tiers, you get spotted almost immediately. But at low tiers, it's a pretty dangerous place to sit. Okay, PZ-3 is up there sitting in that little alcove in the rock doing absolutely nothing. Moving so slowly, it's almost painful. Matilda is actually moving better than he is. And the T-28 is still capping and it's almost half done. And I'm getting a little antsy here, so... 
I do jump a little salty. I did not swear. I did not call anybody specific down. I just told them to get moving. And then I asked, please get off the cap. Now, if he did, great. If he doesn't, he is under no obligation to do so. But he does get off the cap. And there's the arty. And somebody else is going to take a shot at him. And then I do. Enemy destroyed. And that's it. Game over. Got them all. Okay. But the entire game, I just... I don't know. This was, this was a late night game. I was a little tired. And during the game itself, I was more than a tad frustrated. Okay. Victory. All enemy vehicles destroyed. I got a uh, second class out of it. I got a fighter. I got an arsonist for burning that um, Churchill down. I got a bruiser. And I got the high caliber. A win 8 of 3095, which I did not think was too bad at all. And I actually managed to take some credits home on this game too, which is something I've been struggling with lately. Here's all that uh, I did. Uh, critical damage, a total of 14. Um, I damaged uh, four tanks by penetration. I damaged a lot more tanks with splash damage. And I killed a total of five. Okay, so let's go on to the team score. I'm top of the board, 1628 in damage. The next nearest one is the KV-85, and uh, he had 891. And the next after that was the uh, SU-122A, which is a lower tier already for me. He actually had a pretty good game. I will have to grant him that. He had a lot of near misses. I was watching some of his shots. Okay. Here's that T-14 over on the other team I was talking about. 1,221 damage. Didn't get a single kill, but he was damaging just about everything he shot at. Their next highest damage was their M-44. The T-50 did a fair amount of damage and had two kills, but the T-50, a Tier 6 in a 654 battle with the 107 millimeter gun, he should have been rampaging through that. That is, in my opinion, a better tank than the KV-2. And for a Russian heavy, the 107 is actually pretty darn accurate. He could have sat back and just picked people apart with that and done so much more. Um, let's see now, I was uh, first in damage, first in kills, first in XP. No real surprise there. That PZ-3 actually did do 102 points of damage. I don't know who he did it to or how. I didn't see him move. He must have been firing up there from the from behind the Quonset huts and must have hit somebody. Okay, 10 shots fired, 4 of them direct hits, 6 of them splash damage. That means every shot I fired... I either hit somebody or I landed beside them and did some splash. That I can definitely get into. I did 1628 in total damage, seven vehicles damage, five destroyed. Okay, now here's a thing that I've noticed at low tiers. I have 1628 in total damage, direct damage. I caused six stuns. I got a total of 191 stun damage. Nobody else was shooting at things after I stunned them. They, I would shoot and they would just sit there and be able to recover and drive away. Very, very frustrating. Okay, 3745 raw uh, for my credits. 1120 for ammo because I did fire quite a few shots there. Total of 26, 252 for take home. I did receive a, um, a bond for that too. My experience was 11, uh, one, 1,110 times two event, or times two because it was the first victory for that. So a total of 2,220 XP. All in all, uh, it, it was a good game, but I shouldn't have had that good of a game if anybody else in the team had been really paying attention to what they were doing, not running around, cowering in the back, and just making support decisions. Now, I realize, especially a tier 
five and really especially at tier four a lot of new players a lot of players whose skills might be a little eh, they're still learning or they're you know they're the kind of people that punch in for like an hour once a week or two hours once a week or something like that but still there was a lot of people there that i thought should have known better so i can't call us a carry we were never in any danger of of, of losing there but um it was just uh, more than a little bit frustrating because I didn't think uh, I should have had to fire as many shots as I did. Thank you very much for watching. Y'all have a great day. Keep on tanking. And once again, this is Johnny P from the uh, North American Central Server. Have a great one.